make Hurry, Mr. Bergeron's on Don't forget the popcorn, Frank Coming, dear variety of services, and I guess the kind of the, the message, the reason why I wanted, really wanted to kind of go through that is I wanted you to kind of leave with the message that as far as the council on aging is concerned, no matter what the issue is that you have, or even if you don't have an issue, it's worth coming down here just to talk to somebody and just to have them have a, give, you know, give them a sense of who you are and what your situation is, they may be really helpful. Now you've heard an, a number of cases when they were talking about referrals, the referrals were to Baypath Health Services. Uh, and I know we have had Baypath uh, once here before, and a lot of people at that point had never heard of them. Hopefully, that is becoming less and less the case. I think more and more people now are understanding that Baypath, which is actually, um, their offices are right over in Walbrook, is like a crucial piece of all of this. Um, they are the, well, I'll let them describe it. Uh, Kathleen Burke is here from Baypath together with Monica Alley. I don't know how they are dividing up their time, but I know that I asked them to, to be here to talk about the process. When they got a call, get a call from the Council on Aging because, because somebody is looking to talk about some of their programs, how does their process work? So you can understand that. And then we're going to talk about specifically some of the, whoops, and then we're going to talk about specifically some of the programs uh, they have to offer. Kathleen? Um, my name is Kathy Clark and I'm a case manager at BayPath. And as Attorney Bergeron said, um, just going to walk you through the process of what happens when a referral is made to BayPath. Um, so this, this here is a picture of Carolyn. She's uh, one of our receptionists. So she's the person who answers the first phone call when you call BayPath and she gets your call to where it needs to be. Um, this is a picture of Joanne. She is our information and referral specialist. So she, um, she can answer any kind of questions you might have um, about any resources in the area um, for elders. And then she also takes our referrals. Um, so she gets referrals from Council on Aging. Um, she gets referrals from visiting nurse agencies. Um, from family members and even from, you know, future clients themselves. Um, so some of the questions that she would ask when um, uh, an elder calls to refer themselves is she'll get their basic information, their telephone number, and their address. Um, she'll get an emergency contact information. She'll get your uh, medical diagnoses. And then she'll ask about your ADLs and IADLs, um, which I think was already explained. An ADL is an activity of day daily living, which is um, bathing, dressing, toileting, um, getting around your home, so ambulating, um, eating, things like that. And then she'll, um, she'll ask if you're able to do those things on your own. If you're not, she'll ask um, who helps you at the moment. And then uh, same with IDLs, so that's cleaning and uh, cleaning your home, laundry, grocery shopping, things like that. Um, if you need help with that, and who's currently helping you right now. Um, and then lastly, she'll get some basic information on your financial situation and your health insurance. Um, so next after that is the community specialist. This is the person who will actually come out to your home after the phone call is made, and they'll explain, you know, face-to-face -face what kind of services you can get. Um, they'll ask more specifics about your financial situation. Um, nothing about your assets, so they'll, they'll only ask what your monthly income is, um, because you uh, might have a co-payment with BayPath, which is a sliding scale, so it depends on what your monthly income is. Um, She'll also ask about health insurance because if you have mass health, you do not have a co-payment with BayPath. But if you have Medicare or uh, private insurance, as I said, you'll have a uh, co-payment which is based on your monthly income. Um, she'll also ask about your physicians, um, any specialists that you might see, 
and your prescriptions. Um, that's, that's just a few things. She's really going to ask you a lot of questions. Um, so it, it's, it is a, a pretty comprehensive assessment. Um, but she'll, she'll determine what the need is if you need help with um, any kinds of hands-on care. So any, if you need help with any ADLs um, or personal care, a uh, care plan nurse will come out and um, meet with you in your home after the uh, community specialist. And the nurse will um, go over those, those safety issues with you. Um, she'll determine that you're clinically eligible um, for a personal care aid or a home health aid. And that is someone that will come out weekly to your home and help with um, bathing, dressing, um, ambulating, anything like that. Is there a difference between a personal care aid and a home health aid? There is. A personal care aid, excuse me, a home health aid is, uh, goes through a bit more training, and they're able to help people who really can't support more than 50% uh, of their weight. I see. So, yeah. And they're a, stronger. Right. They need personal care. Yes. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Um, and then some additional programs that they have offers is the Lifeline which I'm not sure if everyone um, has heard about that, but that's the button that Raise you your hand. How many people have heard of Lifeline? Okay. Oh, what did you Yeah, okay, so as many of you know, it's the button that you wear around your neck or on the wrist as a bracelet. And um, you can press it if um, you fall down or if you don't feel well, anything like that. And um, there's a, the button comes with a speaker in your home that um, when you press the buttons, the people at the Lifeline Agency will come through and ask what you need. They can call a family member, they can get in touch with an ambulance, depending on what the need is. Um, then there's Meals on Wheels, which is also through Bay Path. I'm sure everyone knows what that is. Um, there's also a prescription machine. How many people have heard about that? Yeah, I have a client not, who has this. This is very high tech. Good. Yeah, and many people don't know about it. Um, there's brochures on it, actually, in the next room, if, if anyone's interested. But it's a machine that um, either a nurse, we can have a nurse come out if that's needed, but typically a family member will um, come out once a month and fill the machine with your medications. And it can be programmed so that, you know, if you take medications in the morning and at night, it will be programmed for both of those. And then uh, when it's time for you to take the medication, it will spit out, the machine will spit out the meds in a little cup. And it talks to you too. It, it says, um, you know, time to take your medication. And I have many clients that enjoy talking back to it. So, oh, thank you. You can actually get, you can get a grouchy one, or you can get a friendly one. It's time to take your medicine. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they're very, and you can get these machines, they're really good. Yeah, they're, they're great because it's a great way to keep your meds organized because, you know, some people are on several meds a day and even with the pill boxes, it can be hard to fill those and easy to put them in the wrong container. And so it's a great way to keep them organized and then also to remember, you know, that to take them at the time you need to. Um, we also have uh, contracts with several adult day health centers in the area. Um, so... That's, that's a center you can go to for the day, and they have activities and meals and things like that. Um, and they have to help pay for the cost of that as well. That can be incorporated into your care plan with the homemaking or the personal care aid. Um, and then also there's a companion service. This is looked at as more of a respite for the caregiver, but this is someone who can come and you know, sit and talk with the client or play games, things like that. Uh, that's it for now. And that's it for now. We're going to talk a little bit more about, about some of the specific programs, especially the 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 the, uh, the home the home aid the home health aids, yeah. and and uh, how you pay for all of those. But, I, but while we were here, I realized we, uh, last time we took we I introduced a geriatric care manager because I wanted you to see a real one. You know, like what <laughs> while we talked about what do they do. Well, similarly, as far as home care agencies are concerned, I just wanted to introduce a real one. Uh, Gail, Gail Hansen is just going to talk to, to you a little bit about, about home care and about the kinds of services that are provided by these folks. There are several, there are several organizations in this area that do this.
but you just want to get a sense of kind of what those organizations are about. And by the way, when we're done, we'll take questions regarding any of this. Hi, Go everyone. Ahead. Um, my name is Gail Hanson, and I represent Right at Home. Right at Home is a private duty in-home care assistance agency. But for today, I'm one of many agencies contracted by Bay Path Elder Services. Um, and we are actually the delivery mechanism. We're the folks that actually deliver the services that you qualify for through Bay Path. Stop right there for a yep. second. By the way, that's very important to understand. So when you're going to Bay Path, Bay Path's not trying to sell you something. Bay Path is trying to figure out what you need, and then they actually will either hire people to help you or will help you hire people to help you. Their, their job is to kind of work as the state agency on your behalf.